Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today, we have a new eyeshadow palette. Yes, I know I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes. No, I don't care because eyeshadow is my favorite thing. So we are gonna skip past that and we are gonna talk about the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina Pro Pigment Volume 5 Palette. This is what I have on my eyes today, believe it or not, for everybody who was like, oh, another purple. This is not just purple. These shades are absolutely gorgeous and I did five looks for you guys, five. So if you wanna see the looks that I did, how they apply, I used almost every single color in the palette. So you will be able to see all the shades, see how they blend together and make a decision if you think this palette is gonna be right for you. Before we get into it, if you're new, please join the family, hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. I'm not gonna keep you waiting, let's just go ahead and get into it. All right guys, so we're just gonna jump straight into this video because I am too excited. I got my package this morning and I wanted to show you guys some comparisons and maybe help you decide if you're gonna get it or not. So today we're talking about the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina Pro Pigment Palette number five. Now, a lot of people are saying, oh, this is just the same as number one. Why'd they do another purple? And then number four is also very similar because it's purples, but it's a little lighter. So I didn't pick up number four. I got number one. I will show you guys that one in a little bit, but when I saw this one, I could tell it was more neutral and I'm a purple girl. I love purple. So I knew I was gonna pick it up. It wasn't even a question. So details about this palette, it is $60, which is the same price as the others. And it has 25 shades. They are big pans. They're bigger than the standard Anastasia Beverly Hills palette size pans. So I'm happy about that but these are supposed to be very high pro pigment shadows. It does say that they aren't eye safe because some of them can stain your eyes, but I'm the type of person, if I get an eyeshadow palette, I want it to be pigmented off the bat. If I have trouble blending, that's my business. I will figure it out, but I don't want something that's just light and you gotta keep packing and building. I'm not that kind of girl. So I love these palettes. I do have, I don't know the order of them, number two, I just got that one and then I also have number three on the way. So first I'm gonna show you guys the packaging. This is the box that it came in. And when I saw the packaging, I was like, this is gonna look beautiful in my beauty room. So yes, I need to pick this up. That was the first thing that got me. And then when you open the palette and you see the colors, I love that this one has browns in it. If I can open it without dropping it. This looks the same as the outer packaging. And then, this is so gorgeous. How can y'all pass this up? Oh, get rid of that. This is what she looks like. I think this is so beautiful. And you could easily do, of course, purple look. You can do a pink look. But you could also do an everyday neutral look with this. And I think that's something that was missing with the first one. So I'm gonna show them side by side just so you guys can see what I mean. So this is the first one, if you haven't seen it. Yeah, I, I just, I didn't look at this one and think like, oh, I can get a soft wearable look, but I definitely see it in this one. So this is the comparison side by side. To me, these do not look the same. Are there some shades that are similar? Yeah, I guess you could say they are. I mean, purple is purple. There's only, only so many shades of purple you can get. But at the same time, this one's more fiery with the reds and the oranges, and then you have the really bright yellow and the golds and the hot pinks. And this one's just a little more toned down. And maybe like that shade C1 with the slight silver bluish. I just, I think there's enough different shades in here to warrant me getting them both. So I'm kind of struggling with which order I want to do these, but I want to show you guys, I might even do four looks, I ain't even gonna lie. I'll see if my eyes can handle it because wiping this off and starting over is gonna be a lot. But of course, we are gonna start with a purple look. So I'm just gonna take a big blending brush. I have my color switch. 
ready to go between looks. I have my cinema secrets. So I'm going to try to do as much as I can. I'm going to prime my eyes with my NARS smudge proof eyeshadow base. I'm not going to use the Anastasia primer because it is stark white. It's a little harder to blend out and a lot harder to get the shadows off my eyes whenever I am done. So because we are doing so many looks, we're just going to do something really easy. I wanted to move in closer because I want you guys to see how these shadows actually perform on my eyes. And I'm not sure you can see that if I'm really far back. I'm just going to set this a little bit powder still on there so I'm gonna start off with shade a4 nice little neutral wash of color I wasn't sure if these were gonna be like the Natasha Denona shades where they end up showing up on the eye darker I just figured out what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do one eye, one shade, one eye, another shade, and then we'll figure it out. So that way I can get more. So we're gonna stay on this eye right now. I'm gonna go in with A5 and I'm gonna deepen that up a little bit. But we're going to do a neutral look on both eyes and we are going to do a matte and a shimmery. As you can see, these colors are blending well. I don't have any skipping, no issues at all. Next, I'm gonna deepen up my crease and I'm gonna go in with C5, which is a dark brown. It does look like it has some purple in it as well, but the other shade E5 is even more purple. So that's why I went with this one but she is still coming off really purple. Look at how that color is spreading. Like I didn't even dip back in yet. So now I'm gonna take a flat brush and I'm gonna go in on my lid and we're just gonna go straight in with A1. It is a white matte and we're gonna start on the inner corner. Ooh, she's white. Look at the pigment on that. Well, I said this was going to be neutral. This is not neutral. Whoa. Next, I'm going to go in with shade. Let's go E4. We said we're going to stay with the neutral shades. And we're just going to... Pop that on the lid and blend those together. Kind of tone down that white a little bit. And just blending these together. White is not playing. Very simple, easy, wearable, gorgeous color. And I'm just gonna go back and blend this all together. So that's it. I'm gonna stop there with that eye. I'm gonna go ahead and do the bottom lash line real quick. I'm just gonna take C5 and run that underneath. And then I'm gonna take E4. This still came out a lot more purple than I expected because this is the shade that I use and it's purple on my eye a lot more than it looks on the pan. So maybe not as brown as <laughs> we thought it was gonna be, but I mean, to me, like if you want to wear purple, but you want a wearable look, I think this is gorgeous. That's all we're going to do with that eye. So I'm going to move to the next one and I'm going to use a shimmer shade. So just to see what it looks like, shade B4 has a little bit of glitter in it. I'm going to put this closer. Hopefully you guys can see it right there. 
has a little bit of glitter in it but we're going to use that in our transition and see if this glitter actually picks up i don't think it will most of the time shades like this it just falls out so but again this is another shade that is coming off really purple that i did not expect so i'm going to take a different flat brush and i'm going to go in with shade a2 That is a duochrome. Oh yeah. I don't know if you guys can see that on my finger. So I thought that was gonna be a gold. <laughs> okay, we're gonna stick with that shade on the inner corner though. And then I'm gonna take shade C4, same brush, but I'm just gonna use the opposite side. Yeah, see that one's definitely more gold. I'm gonna use my finger. And just blend those together. Ooh, that's pretty. I love shades like this. Look at how gorgeous that is. So now we're just gonna go in, I'm gonna build up that inner corner a little bit more with A2 and just blend those together. Then I'm gonna go in the outer V. Now I wanna see what this one looks like. I'm gonna go in with E5 to see how different it looks from this side. It's gonna be more of like a purple. Oh, that looks almost black. Whoa, okay, um, yeah, pro pigment for sure. And I'm just going to press this in to help blend it without getting glitter all over my face, hopefully. And then all these colors are blending and just spreading so easy. I'm gonna go back around the edge with my fluffy brush with shade A5. Like usually purples are the hardest shades to blend out and I'm having no issues at all. I'm gonna go back with E5. And then I'm gonna go in with A2 and finish up the inner corner. And we are gonna stop there. But do y'all see how fast I do those? And they still look very wearable to me. I don't feel like this is like doing too much. I mean, I can wear color at work, so I could go to work like this and not even think twice about it. But I think this is a good introduction to purple without it being too purple. So I'm gonna finish my eyes and then I'll come back and I'll show you the final look. All right guys, so this is it for the final look. I didn't completely do my bottom lashes because that's just too hard to take off, but I just wanted you guys to see the difference in the shadows now that I have liner on, lashes. I mean, you guys saw the application. This was so easy and I just think it's so effortless and beautiful and it just goes to show you can go either way with this palette. So. Y'all know I love it. So glad I got it. I'm gonna take this off and then I'm gonna do, I think two more looks and then I'm gonna do a final look. All right, back for look two. Same NARS eyeshadow base set with a little bit of RCMA powder. And now we are gonna do a pink look and a purple look. We're gonna start off with B3. I just wanna see what kind of pigmentation this has with it being more of a Ooh, that's pretty. More of a kind of neon lilac shade. That is showing up very well and I'm not like packing it on. I'm just dipping my brush in it lightly. Of course, there's a lot 
picking up on the brush i mean that these shadows are just that pigmented but could you imagine what that would look like packed on the lid i probably should have done that let's go with c3 right underneath and just darken that up a little bit Then I'm going to take D5 on a smaller brush. Ooh, that is pretty. Wow. That just pretty much like almost cut my crease by itself. I'm going to go back with B3 and just go around the edge and blend those together. For this lid shade, I'm going in with A3. Y'all already knew. If I'm doing purple, I'm gonna do a shimmer. Ooh, that's lighter than I thought it would be. Definitely need to use my finger. We're gonna put that on the inner third. Very pretty color. I don't, this wouldn't have picked up with my brush, so. That is such a pretty color. Look at that pigment, guys. You cannot tell me. This is not pretty. So now I wanna see the difference. Let's do E3 on the outer part. I use my finger for that as well. Yeah, so this one's a little more pinkish purple, but you can still see the difference between the two. Baby, all the purple. And those blend really well together. I want to see what C1 looks like just because. Oh, that is gorgeous. Can I put that somewhere? <laughs> yes, we sure can. I'm gonna go on the outer corner and deepen that up. We're gonna go in, I'm gonna use D3. D3 looks like a shimmer shade, but we're just gonna do what we want and we are gonna pack that on the outer V. Where's my little brush? It's picking up. I just wanna add a little bit of depth. We do have some fallout here, but I mean, these shades are so glittery, it's kind of expected, especially not using a glitter glue. That's darker than the shade I used earlier. That's just like the perfect gradient of purple. Absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna take, no, we're gonna use that on the pink. I think we're gonna stop there. You know what? I just want to see. I'm going to take that purple B3 and I'm just going to put that on the inner corner. I never do a map, but let's just do something different. We are playing today. Okay, not mad at it at all. We're gonna go back in with D3 on the bottom lash line. And then we're gonna take A3, if I can get it to pick up. Just gonna go back around the edge. I don't want to lose that color since we have it on the inner corner and then a little bit of C3 between those. So that is it for that eye. I hope you guys can see the colors, the way it transitions. It's so pretty. All right, we're going to move to the other side and do a pink eye. For this pink side, we're going to start off. We could go E2, which is a kind of blush pink, but we're going to go B2. We are going to go big or go home. 
I just love that these are showing up so well. It kind of reminds me of the Natasha Denona Trio Chrome palette, the way she tried to do her mattes in there, but I think these are better. I wanted to love that palette, but I just, I could not. I couldn't, I took it back. I'm gonna try E2 and just see what that looks like. Yeah, see that's a little more of a wearable shade. Going back with B2 because I definitely wanna keep that around the edge. But again, blends so easy. Next, we're gonna take E1, which is almost like a peachy gold shade. And this one picks up with my brush. And of course, it is gorgeous. Yeah, peachy gold for sure. I love how these colors just lay down so easy and it's like it's cutting my crease for me. I didn't even have to do anything. That definitely looks a lot more gold than it does pink, which I don't think I was expecting that because you look at it in the pan and that's what it looks like there. Kind of throwing off my pink look here. Let's see what we can do to fix that. I'm going to go in and I'm going to pack B2 on my lid. This is not giving me the pink that I wanted. I don't normally do glitter, but that is legit a glitter. We're gonna do it. That is so pretty. I never do glitters. Oh! Glitters legit terrify me. Like I'm so scared of getting them on my eye and like cutting my eye, but I definitely should have used the glitter glue. So I'm gonna have glitter all over my face. It's actually not bad. It's not falling out on my face, which I am very surprised. It's so pretty. Oh Lord. Okay, Barbara's doing a glitter. Who are we today? Let me see if I can build up E2 and we'll just keep this one a little lighter. I'm going to take E2 and I'm going to put that on my bottom lash line. This look isn't as dramatic as the others, but I think the glitter definitely amps it up some. And then this is just... All right, I'm going to finish my eyes. I'm going to put the lashes on, do my liner and everything, and then I'll let you guys see the final of these two. All right guys, so this is it for the third and fourth look. I really wish I was gonna do my bottom lashes because I think that makes such a big difference, but you know what? I wanna do another look, so we're not doing it yet, but I like all the different colors in this glitter. I am not a glitter girl, but that is so pretty. And then this purple over here, y'all know I love purple, so. I love how this look turned out. Absolutely beautiful. Another two looks, completely different from the first. And now we're gonna finish with one more look. All right, final look. Y'all, there's still so many shades in here that I wanna play with and I'm just like, I don't even know where to start. But I think I'm gonna dive into maybe like a cool tone purple silver i don't know what so we're starting off with a4 
I had so much trouble getting that glitter off, Lord. And it's funny because when I applied it, I was like, you should have probably done this last. But I was like, oh, it'll be fine. No. I'm going in with B4 now. It's crazy because these transition shades look so brown in the pan, but they are definitely purple. And I am cleaning off my brush in between each one, so you guys can see the actual shades. This is legitimately how they are coming off. I'm gonna take a smaller brush and go in with a five. I, I'm struggling right now because I really want to try this silver. Where you at? This silver here. But then I also want to try this bronze shade down here. The silver's pretty. But I kind of want to just, mm, I don't know. I'm gonna do the silver. Let's start with the silver. We're gonna take the silver and we're gonna put that on the inner portion of my eye. I might do all three. I'm taking this on a small brush. Whoa, pigment. That is so pigmented, like I'm barely dipping in. If I thought my eyes could handle it, I would do another look, but they are red and irritated, the skin is, so this has to be it. I can just imagine if I use my finger how much more pigmented this is gonna be, and I might later, but right now we're just gonna start with that. I'm gonna combine this with some of the warm tones, and we're just gonna go all over the place. I'm gonna take D1 which is a bronzy shade. And I'm gonna see how those look next to each other. Another gorgeous pigmented shade. I just had to see what these look like because we've done colors and these are more muted, not muted, but more neutral, I should say. They're still very pigmented. We're just gonna keep going with it. I'm gonna go in with B5 now. It's gonna be pretty. I hadn't used this one yet either. slowly building and blending these shades together. Then I'm gonna go back in with A2 on my finger, which we did use earlier. And I'm gonna put that right in between to blend these together. See, we getting somewhere. I know y'all were worried a little bit. Like, what the hell is she blending? I got it. You see, these look like they belong together. And then to blend these on the outside, put a little more of this to make it pop in the center. And then for the outer part, what haven't we used yet? I'm going in with C4. We're just gonna blend them together and see what happens. I'm gonna go back in with B5, but I'm gonna go on a fluffier brush. I like how this is turning out. It's kind of just like a rainbow of all the colors. Bottom lash line, we're gonna go dark. So I'm going E5. Now all these colors are so pigmented. You have to use a light hand. 
but it's just so gorgeous. I'm gonna take D1 and go the rest of the way in. And I'm gonna go back with C2, that silver and get everything blended together. That is it for the eye look. I'm just gonna clean everything up. I'm gonna put my lashes on and then this will be the final look. All right guys, so this is it for the final look. I absolutely love how this turned out. It was kind of squirrely for a minute. I know I kind of just mixed random shades but i think this is so pretty and just so i don't even know how to describe it just the way the colors all blend together and it's a nice little rainbow i don't know i think it's gorgeous i love mixing colors like that like you wouldn't have expected those to go together but they did i really wanted to try shade b1 on my brow bone but y'all this shade literally looks yellow. That would have messed me up. I'm so glad I swatched it first. So glad I didn't do that. But I just love, I don't know, like I feel like this palette, things look a certain way in the pan. And then when you start playing with them, it's just, it's a nice surprise. I love duochromes, you know, shades that shift and look different when you turn your head or just the unexpected of it. It definitely makes the palette more exciting and fun. I absolutely love it. And I'm so glad I got it. And I think it is completely different from this other one. So if you love purple, then I think you should definitely get both. If you don't have the first one and you like more neutrals, but you still want to play in purple, this is definitely the palette for you. So if you haven't gotten it yet, go get it. Sephora or the ABH website. I have not seen it on Ulta's website. Hopefully it'll come there. I just couldn't wait. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Comment below and let me know which look was your favorite. I did five. I realized that. But let me know what you think. I would love to hear from you guys. I will see you in my next video. Bye.